Concerning news about the drinking water in the city of Beeville. The state report from 2022 released just last month showed violations that might raise concern. And this is not the first time that community has had to deal with the disturbing re revelation. It happened a few years back when residents were notified and told not to drink the water. Well, now this latest report released in June of this year shows a certain contaminant that have consumed for years on end could cause an increased risk of cancer. Our Madeline Salinas joins us in studio now to tell us about what she learned in Beeville today. Madeline. Thanks, Rudy. Leslie, the city of Beeville consumes about 3.3 million gallons of water a day. Inside that water, the state found the presence of something called trihalomethanes, or TTHMs. I spoke with the city manager of Beeville to find out how it got there and what this means for residents. TTHMs are chemical compounds that are tasteless and colorless environmental pollutants. Many of those chemicals are considered carcinogens. John Benson says the maximum contaminant level for those TTHMs is 0.08 milligrams per liter. The state tests for TTHMs every three months to make sure that those level levels are under control. We came in on our quarterly average at 0.084, and so we were 0.004 over the maximum level. Um, we, ma we made adjustments to bring that down. And with those adjustments, Benson says the city was able to bring the contaminant level down to safe levels that second quarter. A contributing factor to those unexpected contaminant levels, the city's addition of four new water wells. Bevo used to just receive their water supply from Lake Corpus Christi, but now the mixing pressure of the two water sources created a problem. The mixing of the water from or water with organic to water from wells changed the distribution system to where our testing and where we need to flush, where we need to inject chlorine, all that changed. Since that first violation in April of last year, the city began testing for those chemical compounds once every month rather than waiting on the state to come in and test on a quarterly basis. Benson says that proactive testing schedule will give the city a better idea of what they need to do to adjust and better serve their water customers. Leslie. All right, Madeline, thank you. And tonight